Mike Nelson, you are someone who has been involved with the Ringling Circus for many, many years. You joined in 1980. You became eventually uh, general manager of the Blue Unit. Right. Gunther Gable Williams during the 1980s was a real presence around the greatest show on earth. Even the Blue Unit, where you were, tell me a little bit about Gunther and some of your recollections. Well, I tell you, um, even though we were on different shows, he was often around us whenever he could be, especially during our rehearsal period. So when both shows were home in Venice together and, say, the Blue Unit was in rehearsals, Gunther was always there around to help lend a hand, make suggestions, do whatever he could to be generally useful so that the Blue Unit uh, show could be every bit of a success as, as it was expected to be. And so uh, when in about probably the mid to late 1980s, uh, the, radio, the the show was down in Miami. You were getting to red, the blue unit was getting ready to move out. The red unit was in Miami. Right. I, right. I know you had a, a little story about a surprise oh, yeah. that happened that yeah, night. Yeah, sure. Now, Gunther used to always, when we would move the show after opening in Venice and, and, and then moving the show for the very first time from Venice to St. Pete, it's the first time you're loading a new production. So it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle to make sure that everything fits into the wagons, the, especially the props and apparatus for different things. And Gunther was always there on that move out night to just help watch, make sure that things fit the way they were supposed to. And um, the very first year that um, both shows were not home together, Gunther was in Miami performing with the Red Unit. And uh, I had gone to the flat cars where we were loading the train and all of a sudden I see this Corvette drive in close to the, close to the fat flats. And I'm looked at my watch and I thought to myself, could this maybe be Gunther? And sure enough, out walks Gunther. And I'm thinking, wow, their show ended at eight 30 and he's here now. He must've driven a hundred miles across alligator alley to get here. And uh, he walks up to me and he goes, Hey, Mikey boy, Mikey boy, everything good. Everything good. All the boxes fit everything good. And I said, yeah, Gunther, we got it all this time. Okay, great. Good season for you. And he gets back in the Corvette, and, and off he went. He was one of those guys who cared about the circus and its success, even when he was not in the center ring, right? Oh, totally, yeah. He, he was not just a red unit person. He was the Ringling Brothers and Farmer Bailey, on, am, uh, ambassador and envoy. This is another.